So guys, just imagine what a collaboration between Aries and NSTC would do to the game. So over the last couple of months, NSTC and Aries have been giving us some shady hints over their reconciliation. At this point, their collaboration is the most anticipated in the rap game as far as SA Hip Hop is concerned. It all started off when NSTC said he'll never make a song with Aries cause it feels like they sound the same. But despite that, Reese made it clear that he was cool with making a song with NSTC. So me and NSTC, I guess we cool mm. at this point. Do you think you guys will ever collaborate? Well, he said that he, he'll never make a song with me. You know, that's, he said that once, so I'm not about to say I'm, I'll wait for him to change his mind or okay. something. So. Would, would you mind making a song with him if he came through? I don't mind. Mm -hmm. I really don't mind. Okay. I'd like to assume that that's where their beef started. Riz then went on to address this whole conspiracy of him sounding the same as NSTC on a freestyle with MTV Bass, saying he doesn't sound like David at all. Look, first of all, let me get one thing clear. I do not sound like David. Get the f out of here. I'm the best to ever do it. I'm the king. I'm the heir. And it's a reason. Then following that, they just would subliminally throw shots at each other on songs, which most of the time would cause so much frenzy as it always confused their fans. And that became the defining moment for their rap beef, which according to NSTC is called Petty Spaghetti. Then fast forward to 2019, NSTC hosted the Iverson tour, which had so much hype around it. Iverson decided to book Aries and even posted a video showing off how happy he was that he was gonna be joined by Aries on stage at his tour. <coughs> Also, I want to let you know that the boy is coming on the Ivy Sun tour. My boy A. Reese is coming on the Ivy Sun tour. So what I'm about to do right now, I'm about to go in the studio. I'm about to decide. I'm about to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to ship it over to that boy. You know what I'm saying? We're about to do on that bitch. You know what I'm Excuse me. I saw that unexpected call up raised so much anticipation among fans and caused so much excitement. As it seemed as if their biggest rivals in rap have finally sorted out their differences and were directed towards unity. That became a powerful statement about maturity and the shared love for the craft, creating a positive buzz within their fan bases. It was expected to influence a shift in the rap game's culture by emphasizing collaboration over competition. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned as Aries decided to pull up late at the show. So he was meant to perform just before NSTC who was the closing act at the show. So Aries pulled up to the show late in which he found NSTC on stage and tried to perform while NSTC was on stage. As expected, that couldn't happen as that was NSTC's show and he was supposed to close it. What happened with the Iverson tour was I arrived, I think I, I, I arrived late, I think I arrived late, right? And then, but I was like, I told like my manager, my booking manager to be like, yo, just tell him, even if we late, tell him I could do one song. Even if Nasty's on stage, I could get on stage, do one song while he's there and then I'll get off and then that's it. And I think that couldn't happen. So we were still at the parking lot while everything was happening at the show and we were like, we had nothing to do because they said no. So I think it was, STC's manager, I don't know who it was, but his staff, one of the members of his staff said, that cannot happen. And we went to the back, we tried to go in from the back, you know what I mean? I mean, the fans even saw us, we appeared out there. I think they even saw us too, but it's just, we couldn't bombard the whole place and just start, you know, stepping on stage and doing our thing. So I just, that's what happened. I, I really didn't like intentionally not go. Exactly that. The media made a frenzy out of this and then it made me look a certain way. And I think especially to Nasty C. I'm a person not to fight that type of shit because, hey man, it is what it is. I don't give a f about who says what on Twitter or Instagram, you know what I mean? But I can, I can see why it looked like that. I don't feel like going out to mend things with anybody. I feel like I'm in a great space. Like, so I don't feel like I'm obliged to make anything work. I mean, if things should work, then fuck it, the Murphy's Law, man. What happens, happens, bro. I saw that experience changed the whole dynamic about their chances of getting along. That moment fueled the ongoing feud, intensifying their rivalry. This contributed to a divisive era in SA Hip Hop and ultimately impacting the legacy of both NSTC and Aries. Sometimes you get beefs that are like manufactured straight from, you know, like internally, you know? 
Like, just like the beef with me and Nasty C. Like, that was all encouraged by great marketing and getting the numbers up and staying relevant, you know, but it wasn't anything personal. It was whatever, you know. That tactic does work, you know what I mean? But in terms of it affecting me, I don't think it affected me in any way. For me, like, rap is competitive, so I took it as a as friendly competition anyway, like, you know? Let's wrap our asses off. Moving forward, Aries went as far as throwing shots at Nestisi during a freestyle with Sway called Cyphers, as he went on to say, They underhandedly asking me for some help. Fuck them all, they just relying on me for some clientele. Yeah, they're only friends when they got some tickets to sell. In this, he was just emphasizing the fact that some people only act as friends when they need assistance. Intending that Nestisi only acted as his friend so he can just get more people to buy tickets and attend his show. That made things even worse. Over the last couple of months, Nestisi exposed on El Tito's podcast how he felt about that whole situation of Aries pulling up to his show late. He said he felt disrespected by Aries because he didn't respect his honors of booking him at his show. So why don't, why don't you niggas just speak about it then if that's the case? If it's nothing. You see, you the, the, one of the reasons why I'm not so open to that anymore I'm open to like laying it to rest or whatever, but I'm not gonna waste my time trying to just have a sit down, a conversation, nothing like that. It's just not worth my time anymore. Mm -hmm. But uh, the reason why is that I've, I've tried to do that multiple times. For real? Yeah, I've tried to do that. I even I even booked a guy at my at my Iverson tour one of the years. I think it was 20. Oh, I remember. I was like 17 there. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I booked him for that. I was like, yo, I did and I was like, yo, listen, this is dumb. This 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 fucking just, you know, yeah. put this thing to rest. We don't even know what the fuck this thing is. Mm -hmm. Come to my show, this will go crazy. People will fucking wild out. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll be a beautiful moment for hip hop. It's like, yeah, let's do it, I'm down. And then uh, I think he pulls up super, super, super fucking late and wants to go on after me. I'm like, you're fucking crazy. This is my show. You're not gonna close my show. Are you out of your mind? Mm. You understand? So mm -hmm. it's like, to me, I took that as, as a sign of disrespect. So I was like, all right, you know what? That settles it. That's that shows me your true intentions. Because right now, I'm like, yo, I'm not even going to be a rapper with you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like, I'm not going to be like, okay, I talk to him, that type of vibe. But it's like, if, if there's nothing, let's just fucking work, man. Let's make some money, dog. Mm -hmm. You understand? And and that wasn't the case with him. So I was like, all right, okay, I sick. It's like, it is what it is, you know? And then, like I said on that song, it's like, yo, wherever we go from now, on, it's fine, fuck it. I'm not going to try and be the bigger person and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Dang, it's sick. It's like... I don't care anymore. That's crazy, bro. I wouldn't mention all the shots they have thrown at each other just for the purpose of the length of this video. But going forward, at some point, Nestisi had made it clear during a freestyle that he tried to squash his beef with Aries. And again mentioned how he's cool with Aries' ex-homies. Also talked about not being able to put his trust in them because they were once cool with his rival. You know I tried to squash that shit with Aries, but I fuck with 25 and I fuck with Flame. And a lot of other dope artists that fuck with him. But I be dumb as fuck, they ever put my trust in them. Moving forward, after releasing his third studio album, Aries went on to post on X to say, Nasty is bigger than British drill rapper Central C. And that was after the South African rugby team defeated the British rugby team. And people just started comparing their favorite South African acts to British acts. Which in a way I felt like Aries was mocking Nasty C. Because I believe hip hop and drill are distinct subgenres with different stylistic elements, cultural influences, and lyrical themes. Hip hop often encompasses a broad range of styles. While drill originating from Chicago is characterized by its aggressive beats and straight oriented lyrics. When a rapper from one subgenre is compared to another, it may imply a lack of understanding of the nuances within hip hop. Such comparisons can be dismissive and may not acknowledge the unique contributions of each subgenre. So that's the reason why I think the tour was more of a mock or shit than actually showing love to Nasty C. I know a lot of people received that as showing love and no one picked it up as a mock, which I think Aries did deliberately and I think Nasty C picked that up. Then when coming to Nasty C's side, he's also been moving sketchy. From posting on Facebook about him against Aries with which the Aries is not even written in full, to playing his latest album Paradise 2 on his Twitch live video. And also going on to say he's not stupid to be playing that album and of course he can hear that he's playing Aries. By the way, relax. I can yeah. hear it. I'm not I'm not deaf, I'm not dumb, I'm not stupid. I can hear it, I'm letting it rock. Oh my god. So at this point, 
I don't really think there's still a chance for the two to collaborate cause I feel like the damage is beyond repair. I don't know what it will take for the two to work together but I swear this will go down as one of the most confusing and most influential beefs in SA Hip Hop. Just like how it was with AKA and Casper New List. But anyways, how do you guys feel about Reese's tweet? Do you think he was genuinely showing love to Nestesi or you also take that as a mock? What do you think about Nestesi's latest moves? Is he hinting a collaboration with Aries? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And that is the end of the video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Peace out. Perfect, perfect, perfect.